Hi guys, today I'm going to try to repair this for a friend of a friend. So first off, it's a really clean brake, which is kind of rare with cast. See how nice that fits back together. And he sent it to me nice and clean, which is I'm very grateful for. Hardly anybody cleans it parts this good when they need them fixed. So what could have happened here is maybe it's just a bad design. You know, it looks like it's way looks like it's way too thin. Or maybe there we go up higher. Maybe they were taking it off the engine and this bolt hole was overlooked and they were prying on it and it cracked, but either way. So it's quite common on cast parts. You can't really tell the quality of it, you know, if it's aluminum or more pot metal. So what I'm going to do first is do a little test weld somewhere in an inconspicuous area, see how strong it is before I, you know, spend the time trying to fix the part. Get it nice and clean. Getting irregular shape parts like this to be in a comfortable position while you're welding and hold still and not wobble around is kind of tricky sometimes. But usually I just use, I haven't explained this in previous videos, but I just I always use this, just like a variable height shim, I call it piece of scrap aluminum and you can bend it to whatever height you need so you know, if I need this up like this I can wedge get that good and this is still wobbling but I can wedge this under somewhere put it down nice and low and tuck it under here so that's getting it fairly stable Okay, I'm gonna stop right there. That's probably good enough. I probably didn't come up on camera too good, but you see all that porosity on the bottom that's coming out of the part? It's not very, it's not as high a content as aluminum as I was hoping for. There's a lot more junk in there, like pink and green and blue flames coming out of it. And I don't know if you heard it over the sound of the welder cooling fans, but it, when it was cool and it was pinging and crackling a lot, that's, that's a bad sign too. Give it a little pull test here. Oh yeah, see it fell right off. It didn't even bond. So for me, that's a no-go in my shop. I wouldn't warranty anything like that or wish it on the customer, you know, where they put this all back on their engine. And if I, even if I did get it looking halfway decent, it would, you know, it'd likely fail in the future. So, yep, just do a quick test like that. If a customer brings you something, show them that it's not bonding good and move on to the next project. And I'm sure some of you guys will say, oh yeah, try this rod, try that rod, blah, blah, blah. But this is just crap pot metal and I would never, I wouldn't feel comfortable passing it on to a customer. On second thought, I don't know, it might even be magnesium. I don't know. Here's one way to find out if it's magnesium. Get you a file with fine spacing, Not the, don't use the coarse side, try to get as small a powder as you can.
at least a little bit of something in there sparking away like that. Aluminum doesn't do that. I've been getting a lot of requests lately for an aluminum spool gun welding video, so stay tuned for that.